Well, hello everyone and welcome to another growing guide here at Larry's Orchids. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite plant, the goji berry. This is a super fruit, so if you all are health fanatics out there and have seen how expensive these berries are in the store, why not try growing them yourself? They are very simple to grow and that's why I'm going to uh, make this episode pretty short because there's not a whole lot of things that require, uh, that this plant requires. Simply put, okay, there are three things that I like to give it, and that is adequate sunlight, adequate fertilizer, and adequate um, drainage. The plant does not like to be soaking wet, so if you make sure that it's a well-draining potting soil, no matter if you put it outside or inside, it's going to do well because it doesn't like to be soaking wet. It will actually uh, rot the roots out and the crown of the plant here, and you'll notice that the leaves will start to droop down. The leaves naturally are um, kind of almost a spear shape and the, sp the spear of the leaf actually goes pretty straight. It will droop a little bit as the leaf gets larger, but you'll notice that there's something very wrong with it when you overwater because the leaves will actually almost hang directly vertically down. So um, that's one indication if you're giving it too much water. Another thing is that I like to give it is adequate sunlight. These love strong sun. So a strong south facing window or direct sunlight outside between six to 12 hours of sun is going to be ample for you. Also another thing is fertilizer. These are extremely fast growing plants. They're going to fruit in about two years for you. I've actually had them fruit in about a year and a half for me. So when I grow them, I like to give them just a 20-20-20 fertilizer because that gives them everything they're going to need and it really gets them off and running. But there's one thing that gives these things a kicker that I think no, else, uh, no other plant that we sell here at Larry's Orchid has, and that is its cold hardiness level. This plant is the cold hardiest plant you will find here at Larry's Orchid and pretty much probably anywhere um, and that's simply because it can grow up until the frost in which the frost will most likely make it go dormant. It can survive a couple frosts, but eventually it will go dormant. However, I placed mine outside last year and it actually survived the coldest winter on record here in Michigan. So that was around negative 18 degrees Fahrenheit. So there is pretty much nothing that can kill this plant as far as cold temperatures go. And also it survived one of the hottest summers uh, when I had it outside in a pot. And it was uh, two years ago where it was over 100 degrees for five or six days straight, never once dropped a leaf, never even thought about dying on me. And it was very, uh, it was very happy actually to be just outside in, in, uh, in the natural air, natural light, made sure it stayed watered well. And um, it was in just again, a pretty well draining potting soil. So it wasn't soaking wet and it did fine for me. So um, I know this video is short, but hey, seriously, it is that simple when it comes to it. Just remember adequate fertilizer, adequate water and well-draining soil and adequate sunlight and your goji berry is going to do fine for you. So uh, if you have any more comments, questions or concerns, please post them in the comments box below. I'd be glad to answer them. Also, I will post a link to these goji berries if you're interested in purchasing them. We have them on larrysorchids.com and so check the link in the description box below for those. And also if you liked this episode, please click the subscribe button. It helps us know who we're reaching and it also helps you stay up to date on all the other cool tips, tricks and growing guides and different cool things we're doing on this channel. And lastly, I'd like to thank you for making Larry's Orchids your number one stop shop for all your orchid and tropical needs. Thanks, have a great day, bye.